Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm going to teach you how to compress your irons. You know, getting that nice, solid, compressed sound. <laughs> so, hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, then click on the button to subscribe to my channel, click on the little bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people that need help too. In order to compress your irons, you've got to understand why you would not be compressing your irons. So why you're not compressing the irons is because you are doing a chicken wing. When you do a chicken wing, the grip on the golf club falls behind the head of the golf club. So here's what happens when you do that. You do a chicken wing, the grip falls behind the head. So if, that's, if the club's coming in like this, the ball is just being deflected off of the face so you don't get that nice compressed sound. What we need to do is have the club hitting the ball like this, leaning forward. So now it's going to compress the ball and get that nice trajectory to our shots. All right, so chicken wing is the cause of you not compressing the ball. So we got to get rid of the chicken wing. So what we are not going to do though is do things like this. We are not going to try to hit down on the ball. We're not going to try and lean the shaft forward. All right, now you would think that that would fix it, but that is not going to fix it because that is an arms move. You are doing the chicken wing because you are hitting the ball with your arms. So if you're hitting with your arms, you are contracting your arm muscles. So you're like this, and then you contract the lead arm like that. The grip falls behind the head. So if you're going like this, you are still contracting your arm muscles. And the problem here also is if you pull the shaft too far forward, you're going to be twisting the face. You're not going to square the face consistently. And when you pull the shaft forward, you have locked your wrists. So, and you can still do a chicken wing pulling it forward too. So I'm trying to get you to not use your arms to hit the ball. I want your arms powerless. So if you're trying to do things to get the shaft leaning forward, you're still using your arms, which is what I'm trying to get you to not do. So think about it. If your <laughs> golf club is mass, your arms are an extension from an axis, your body is the axis, we need the mass to go to the widest point. Well, the widest point in your golf swing at setup is right here. When your arms are stretched out, you know, they can't stretch out any more than that. So where is the other point in your golf swing where your arms are both stretched out again. Well, that's not actually until after you've hit the ball by about two feet with irons, about three feet with driver. Okay, so right here, one, two, right there. Actually, let me put a ball right here so you can see. So right there. So if I start with my arms stretched out here, by the time I get to that ball over there, my arms need to be stretched back out again. All right, so I'll do it right here, just behind that ball. So my arms are stretched out here, and then my arms are stretched out here. All right, so now, if I take this golf club and I move it back to where the ball is, guess what? Now I get the lean, okay? Because the club is not yet at the widest point. And how fast does it take the golf club to move two feet? Well, that is like a millisecond in time. So if you're coming in like this and you're trying to stretch your arms out here, the shaft will be leaning when you hit the ball here. So we're not going to get the lean by trying to make it lean. Because like I said, if you do that and you pull it too much, you're going to lock your wrists. You can still do a chicken wing. You're going to hit it where the face might be open. If you don't do it enough, you're going to be closed. And you will never get to the widest point of the arc which is right here, because you're trying to hold the angle too much. 
you could even top it from there because if you hold too much angle see the club won't even get back down to the ground so we're going to get the lean because we understand that the club is leaning because it's not yet at the widest point of the arc we're trying to let our arms extend so we get rid of the chicken wing we get the club moving to the widest point and then the point just before that it would have the angle we need the angle to compress the ball all right so a little different way that i get people to get that those nice compressed shots those nice solid iron shots you know i've been teaching <laughs> this effortless golf swing since 1991. that means that i've been taking people's arms out of their swing you know teaching them a body swing for a long time and when i get people to finally let go and stop hitting it with their arms they all start taking divots all right somebody that has never taken a divot before in their life as soon as i get them to let their arms go they instantly start taking divots that is because the golf club is still descending when it hits the ball it takes the divot, then the club gets to the widest point, which is right here. So we, if you're doing a chicken wing, you're not gonna take divots either because your arc is getting narrower. That is because you are trying to hit the ball with your arms. You're contracting your arm muscles. All you gotta do is let them go. If you let them go, this is a weight right here, the whole golf club, that's a weight. So if your arms were really relaxed, it would pull your arms out. Well, if you started with them out here and you let it go, it, they're going to stretch back out here. That's because when you hit a golf ball, you tilt. So that moves the widest point just ahead of the ball. So right there, if I bring the club back to the ball, the club is still descending as it hits the ball because it's trying to get to this point right here. All right, so to hit or sorry, to compress your irons, you need the shaft leaning. We, hopefully you kind of understand that now. I don't want you to manually lean it though, because now you're still using your arms. I don't want you to use your arms. So I can get you to compress your irons without using your arms. All we're doing is we're letting the mass go wherever it wants to go. To do that though, you gotta let your arms relax. And I'm telling you, versus doing this, this feels completely different. It's going to feel out of control. It's going to feel like you didn't hit anything at all. It's going to feel like, you know, you're going to throw your golf club. Like all of these sensations you have to kind of get used to if you're trying to get rid of this chicken wing and get these nice compressed shots. All right, so you got to kind of start somewhere. So why not just start and think, okay, well, He's telling me I got to have both arms stretched out by there. Okay, so I'm going to stretch them out here. Just do a little, you know, a little three-quarter swing or something like that. And then go, okay, I'm going to stretch them out by here. Oh, there. There. Okay, right there. By the time I get there, they're stretched out again. Chicken wing. Uh-oh, grip is going to fall behind the hip. Like that. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, I got to get them to stretch out here. And you just keep doing that over and over and over and over. Get the sensation. Then you can kind of go through like this. Well, three quarters, stretch your arms out like that. Okay, start getting used to the feeling of it. Because, you know, a lot of this is learning new things. And, you know, if you're not good at them or you haven't done them, you know, it's different. So if you keep doing it, it feels okay after a while. So you'll see. As soon as you start letting your arms go, I have proven this time and time, tens of thousands of people that I have taught over the years. And as soon as I let, get them to let their arms go, someone that has never taken a divot in their life, they all start taking divots. So your arms must be part of taking a divot, okay? You use your arms, you contract, you make the arc narrower. Let your arms extend, club descends when it hits the ball, you take the divot and you get to the widest point. All right, so 
If you're not compressing your irons, give this a try. I am telling you, just start going looser and looser. And here's the telltale sign, okay? So let's use the divot thing as a telltale sign. You come out and you try this, and you are not taking a divot. I need you to go looser, 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 looser with your arms until you start taking a divot, okay? That is how loose I need your arms, all right? Because I know <laughs> you're going to think you're loose when really you're not quite loose enough. So go even looser until you start taking a divot. No kidding, you will start taking a divot if you totally relax your arms. So just use that as the gauge. Keep doing it over and over and over again until you take a divot. Then you'll see how loose you are, or loose I want the arms. Then you'll see that you're finally compressing your irons. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.